Hey you guys, hey you guys, it's your girl Kayla B. You know me, I'm coming at you with another video. It's another video and that's on what period. Yes, bro. <sighs> it is Sunday. So you know what that means. That means Shamaista Sunday, baby. Shamaista Sunday, baby. Shamaista Sunday, baby. This is what I'm gonna use today, baby. Today and tomorrow and the next day and the next day. This is what I'm using this month is Shot My Sunday. Woo! That's a cute jingle. Anyways, it's Shot My Sunday Sunday where I do stuff for this month. I pick out all the makeup that I'm using this month. And I put it in this box. And that's what I'm going to be using this month besides new products that I do have to try out. So, let's get up in this. Okay? Yes. Um, this is February. AKA the month of love, AKA the month for <laughs> power, <laughs> you know, um, black history month and love month. So I'm back and I do love, and I do have love to thrown towards me. So this is, this, this should be my month. Like <laughs> it should be my month. I should be praised this month. I should be loved this month. And if nobody, if nobody is praising me and loving me as much as I praise and love myself, then you are going to get cut for this month. I'm letting you know that now. Yes. <clears throat> All right. So the first thing we have is primer. This is the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. You guys know I need to get rid of this. This is some good primer. This is a good primer. I like to stick on to place. It holds foundation for a very long time. But um, <laughs> your girl, your girl needs to get rid of this. So and that's the reason why um, I'm using it. Okay, tinted moisturizers. Um, I've been addicted to moisturizers lately. They, it's just because they finally have shades that work for me. Because <laughs> I could never try tinted moisturizers. And now I can. And these are both affordable tinted moisturizers. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Tinted Moisturizers in 375. Because no Java is my, my go-to thing in Maybelline. And this is SPF 30 at Broad Spectrum Glow Stunner. Um, hydrogen tinted moisturizer from Morphe in the shade Deep Glow 14. So Morphe came out with a thing that I actually really do like. A lot of people, a lot of people hated on it. A lot of people hated on it because Morphe. A lot of people hated on it because it didn't work for their skin type, but it works for me. So I, you know, it is what it is. Um, I also was giving it a little bit of grief before I tried it because, again, it's Morphe and I don't really like Morphe shadows, but I do like their lippies. I like their lippies. I like their setting mist. And surprisingly, I like their foundations. Don't like their concealers, though. No. For the concealers. Foundations. It's been, it's been hits. Even the painty one, the one that smelled like paint, it did. That was a full coverage sugar beet. Don't like their powders though. Haven't tried their bronzer. Haven't tried their new blushes. Haven't tried their highlighters. But their palette, the highlighter blush palette, it's been calling me. I don't know if I ever will pick it up. So yeah, and don't like their shadows. So powder products, maybe not. But some hits in Morphe. Surprising to me. Anyways, concealer, we have the Tarp Shade Take Glow Wand. I just need to get rid of this. Like, it's a good concealer, but Tarp is like a good, like, light, brightening. This is like the rare beauty brightening thing before it even came out like this is what it was this is what that was supposed to do like does that i should do one size this one size rare beauty i mean if it's the same i don't think it's the same um color but 
to, to show you guys the effect. But yeah, that's what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to be like a refresh, brightening. And then, then we have Born to Glow, which is actually a medium to full coverage concealer, but also natural. It's like, what the freak? It's like, they've been coming out with those formulas lately, and I was like, I never thought that was possible. Because, like, we always had full coverage or sheer coverage. Like, there were some that was medium, like, trying to be full, but then they were like, you know what, we're just going to say we're medium. But it was, like, either matte or luminous. It was never, like, natural. How is it natural? It's like, what the freak? Makeup is on the rise. Mm. Yes, yeah, so next. Then for setting spray, we had the Maven Beauty Rose Water Setting Spray. I want to get rid of this. This is a really good setting spray. This, like, makes sure makeup last, 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 last. But it's rose. It doesn't smell like rose. But it's rose. And I don't. Me and rose just does, does, doesn't mix. I don't know how that doesn't itch my face. I guess I don't put that much on it. I just put like a couple sprays, pat it down. That's it. But like, bleh. All right. For the two powders, we have the Hourglass Setting Powder. And we have the Sephora Cosmetics Micro Smooth. One for, you know, overall face powder. Like when I have um, this on. And I don't know. Maybe this one. Or maybe the Morphe one. I don't know which one. Just like. When I have like a light coverage of that on, I just dust this over my face. When I do a full beat of the tinted moisturizer, because even though it's tinted moisturizer, it still has coverage and you can build it up. So when I do like a fuller beat with a tinted moisturizer, I'm going to be using that. The next thing we have is the Kilowatt Mimosa Sunrise and Sangria Sunset from Fenty Beauty. I'm gonna use this as glowy blushes. Maybe a fun pinky highlight with the um, Sangria Sunset. You know, maybe like some pinky vibes there. Some pinky vibes for Valentine's Day. We don't even know. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Anyways, we also have Orgasm X from NARS. I might put this for a blush. Have that for I oh I, I already know what I'm gonna do for Valentine's Day. Ooh, I love it. Um, boo mm. Then we have oh yes, it's gonna be a great inner corner for that. This is gonna be this is the Ace Beauty Glow Palette. Just look at that glowing. Look at those glows. Look at it glow. All right. I, I, this is my every Christmas, every holiday, every type of palette. Like, this is my everyday palette. This is um, Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered. Like, look at that. And look at all of that. Like, I put dents into this. Like, this is my palette that I work with. <sighs> then I had to stop working with people with this because this is it's expired. Expired expired last year. <laughs> it expired. This is a new one too. It expired last year. That I was supposed to get rid of it last year. But it's not irritating. It's not doesn't have any bumps on it. The jar is up. But it still look good, still works, it still blends very well, so I must still use it until it just stops working or it's really hard to work with. But right now it's still it's still holding it up. Literally December 2022, that's when it expired. <clears throat> that's when the jar was up. But you know, we're gonna keep on using it, keep on, keep on. I just can't use it on anybody else, but this is besides myself, but this is like this is it. This is it. This is my palette. And this is probably the palette I'm going to use like throughout the month. More than the second palette that I have right here. But yeah. It definitely, yeah, I'm definitely using this for, <laughs> for, for, for Valentine's Day. I mean, do you not see these pinks? 
pinks, reds, like gorgeous. Valentine's Day palette on deck. Mm, 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 mm. All right, next thing we have is the breakfast in bed at Beauty Bakery. This is more of like a purple, taupey. I am celebrating Valentine's Day my way. I'm single, not ready to mingle. I love myself palette. You feel me? But me, I'm not single, ready to mingle, but I do love myself. So and that's what I'm wearing. Uh, probably like day after. Also, black owned brand. Hello. Hello. Black History Month. Okay. Mmm. All right, speaking of back on brand, we got this. We got the Uma Beauty Contour and Highlight Palette. Not palette, but stick. Cream stick. And I like to use this sometimes with just like no makeup. Just this. And I would love to show you guys that in a future video. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Anyways, um, we have Supernatural Mascara from Mount cosmetics melt cosmetics um that's gonna be mascara and that's her humor tentacles it's gonna be my liner and sephora brow pencil and benefit brow setter 24 hour brow setter i'm gonna go back into pencils going back into pencils i know right by the way this is what my brows look like without you guys always wanted to know what my brows look like without like stuff on it this is what it looks like no brows y'all no nothing to see like i have brows it's just that it's sparse and it needs some feeling i need some feeling in all right now we're on to lips now for lips we have mented correlation and mented mauve on over our mauve over Mente Cosmetics, you guys already know. Black on brand. Yes. Um, then we have Fenty Beauty at PMS. We can't get this anymore, but I like to use this as a liner. Because it's a good deep brown shade. I'm really mad that she got rid of that and that formula. And then we have KVD. You guys know I just need to use this up use it up need to use it up need to use it up all right so then we have mental cosmetic come on over again another shade that is my v like this is a liquid lipstick not a lip gloss but ooh, yummy Yum, 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 yummy. Ooh, all right, so then we have MAC and Sin, just a nice red. Then we have this, which is Bougie from Live Glam. And then last but not least, we have Natasha Nona and Soho Kiss. You can't get this anymore. This was my favorite thing. Like, Natasha Nona was my favorite brand, but, like, majority of the stuff that I love, like, you can't get anymore. And it's like, why buy something that you can't get anymore? That makes that. Have that settled. And then go like that. The lipsticks, which is sin, and just have that like a reddish nude. A Valentine's Day lip. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And I love it. 
What do you guys think? Do you guys like this lip? Do you want to see more lip combos in the future? Let me know down below. Also, always check the description box for my TikTok, my Instagram, my email to get in contact with me. But that is all for this video, baby. Um, It's over. <laughs> I am done showing you the products I'm going to be using this month. And at the end of the month, I always do my makeup video where I do the least amount of products that I used in like this month, like the least amount of times I use the product through the month and I do it and I put on my face and I make it work. Sometimes I don't make it work and sometimes I do because sometimes the colors be all over the place with the eyes and the lips. But you know, we're going to do what we're going to do. Deuces and happy February. Video right here, video right here, head right here, go check them out. Uh -huh.